Tonight, the FBI is warning energy companies that they may be primary targets for Russian hackers. Analysts have seen increased interest in energy companies since the start of the war in Ukraine. The FBI report does not list specific energy companies or organizations that may be targeted. Well, in response to those threats from Russia, Hoosier lawmakers have taken some steps to keep our networks protected. CBS4 State House reporter Kristen Eskow shows us what businesses need to know. As Hoosiers keep busy at work, officials warn that private businesses and government entities need to be on high alert for potential cyber attacks. Some Indiana businesses know all too well the consequences of those breaches. We still at this point have very limited remote access to um, email. Dr. David Dunkel says that's one of the protections now in place at Johnson Memorial Health after it was hit with a cyber attack last fall. We have trainings. It's part of our annual education, but still all it takes is one person in the organization to click on the wrong email. Cyber attacks have been on the rise around the world, including here in Indiana, and they could spike further amid a looming threat from Russia. I'm very concerned. It is a very real threat that is out there. Kathy Guider helps run an investigative services firm in Carmel and spent 23 years with the FBI. She says businesses need to educate employees and ensure they're using protections like two-factor authentication. If you as an employee think that your email is running slow or that you've had two or three unusual emails, report it. Guider urges businesses to report breaches to the FBI. Some state lawmakers want to see the legislature take further action. I think there's definitely a lot more to do uh, to address this issue. State Representative Christopher Judy introduced a bill this session to create a volunteer group of Hoosiers who would help government entities prevent and respond to cyber attacks. It didn't move forward this year due to costs associated with training, but Judy plans to reintroduce it next year when the state budget is rewritten. This isn't going away. This is this is a this is a threat that's continuing to increase. One action state lawmakers did take regarding cybersecurity is found in the new election law going into effect July 1st. It extends the state contract for cybersecurity services for both the Secretary of State's office and county election offices until 2028. Kristen Eskow, CBS4 News. Kristen, thank you.